Number 49. Using complete subshell notation, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and so forth, predict the electron configuration of each of the following atoms. And then I have A through E. Okay, so stop the video if you have not already taken your periodic table and divided it into these, basically these three colored groups. So I've already done it for you just to kind of save time here. But if you need to, um, you know, color up your periodic table and I highly recommend it, just stop the video for now. I'll be back. I'll be here when you get back um, and do that real quick. So there's basically, I think, three things that I just want to run over with you guys real quick. First thing is that when we do electron configuration, just make sure that the helium is not on the right side and that you put helium over right next to hydrogen because helium should be in the S orbital category and the S's are the yellow and helium has a atomic number of two. With that being said, just know that the greens is the P's, the blue is the D orbitals. So that's where all your electrons are found in the D's. And then this whole group, these two down here, that's the F's. Okay. Now, all that electron configuration is, is that you just have to follow the atomic number. If you um, have been doing these questions with me thus far, I think we did three exact electron configuration problems. And all I do is I literally just go from one, and one is always hydrogen. So you basically play like shoots and ladders, if you guys ever have played shoots and ladders. You start from number one, and you got to go through every spot until you go to the atomic number that your element is calling for. So let's start. A, we want to go to nitrogen. Okay. So nitrogen is all the way over here, number seven. So I have to go, I have to start from one and then try to get to seven. So before I even start that, just know that the S's start with one. So this first group is the 1S, 2S, 3s, so on and so forth. If the ones start with the s's, the twos start with the p's. So this would be 2p, 3p, etc., etc. If the ones start with the s, the twos start with the p, the threes start with the d. So the first blue uh, row would be 3d and 4d, etc., etc. And then if the one starts with the f, the two starts with the p, the three starts with the D, the four starts with the F. So this would be four F and five F. Okay, so let's get started. For N, you have to start with one. So that's one S, that's one S territory. And you pick up both boxes, right? You pick up an electron here and you pick up an electron here. So that represents that you passed both boxes. So that's why there's a two there. Now you move on. You collected number one and two. So now you got to look for number three. So number three is lithium, and that's in the 2s category. So 2s, but you have to collect both boxes, right? Because they both have one electron. So that would be 2s2. Then we go over to number five, right? That's boron. Um, so that's 2p. And now we just want nitrogen. So how many boxes do I have to collect? One, two. Three, you stop at the element that you want. So this would be 2p3. And that's the answer for A. Pretty simple. Now, as we move forward, you're going to see that majority of this is going to be monotonous because you always have to start at one and get to the number that you want. Silicon is over here. So instead of ending at seven, I got to go from one all the way to 14 now. So let's go for it. Got to start at 1, so that's 1s, and you collect both boxes, so that's 2. Jump down to 2s, you collect both boxes, that's 2. Then you move over to 2p. We're over here, right, at number 5. And now you had to collect all 6 of these because you want to get to number 14. So if you count that, that's 6 boxes. Now you're down to sodium, so that's 3s and you collect both boxes, so that's a two. Now you're at number 13, which is a 3P. And now, how many boxes? One, two, because we want to stop at silicon. So that would be 3P, two. And that's the answer for that. Next, 
C. F E. Same exact idea, right? But now we got to stop at number 26. So we got to keep going until we get to number 26. So the beginnings are going to be very similar. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, and now we're over here, right? But now I have to go to all of these boxes because I want to get to iron over here. So if I count that, that's 3P6. Now I drop down to number 19. That would be 4S2 because that would be the next number here, right? And now we're in 3D territory. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So 3D, six, and that's the answer for that one. Now, I just want to say one thing is that uh, when you start ending in Ds and Fs, the numbers are going to be a little bit messed up, meaning the shells. As you can see here, it went from a three, three, four, back to three. And usually um, electron configuration is from the smallest shell to the largest shell. So when numbers get a little messed up, you could just always rearrange them. So this one would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, then 3d6, and then finally 4s2. So that's a teacher or professor specific problem. Or, or question whether they would take points off if you left it, you know, like this, or would you have to rearrange it? That's up to your teacher or professor. They're both technically correct, but one is just more correct than the other. Okay, moving on. D is um, tellurium, T-E, where are you? Over here, number 52. So basically, it's going to be the same as iron, Right, because we got to collect number 26 anyway to kind of keep moving on. So, very boring, right? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. All I'm doing is I'm following the atomic number. Now I'm at 4s2, right over here. So now that's 3d. Now I have to go all the way over here. So that's 3D10. And I'm just going to drop down because I don't have a lot of room. But now we're over here, which is the 4P uh, row. So 4P. And I have to go to the whole end of it, right? Because I want to get to tellurium, which is over here. So that's 4P6. Now I'm over here. That's 5S2 because I collected both boxes. And now I'm at 4D, and I still want to get all the way over here, so I got to cross this whole thing. If you count all those boxes, it's 4D10. And then 5P, I'm over here, right? 5P, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you would get to lyrium, so that's 5P4. Once again, you guys can rearrange it, because I see that I have a 3, 4, back to 3, then back to four, five, four, and five. So you would gather all the threes, put them together, then the fours, and then the fives. But you guys can do that on your own time. I just am here to, you know, give you the correct answer. But if you guys want me to do the um, electron configuration the other way, just let me know in the comments and I'll do it for you guys, all right? All right, next, E. Now, E... I'm going to put E actually probably up here because this one's going to be a little, a big one. TB. TB is all the way down here, terbium. So that's number 65. So once again, you got to go from one all the way to 65 and follow the atomic number. How am I going to get in this area though? I don't know. We'll see. But by following the atomic number, you sure will get there. But you got to start at one. So. 1s2, it's going to be basically the same thing as tellurium, right? Because tellurium was number 52, and then we just got to keep going. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Then we're down to 3d10. Then we move over to 4p6. 
Then we go to 5s2, 4d10. And now we move forward. So we're over here, right? This is the 5p, but I have to collect all of these. So that's 5p6. Now we're over here. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little tricky. So we're still at number 55. This is an S, right? And this is 6S. So three, four, five, yep. So this is 6S, two, because I collect both boxes. But now look here, it says 57 through 71. Where are those? Oh, that's here. This is where 57 is. That's how you drop down. Once you hit this box, you drop down to the Fs. So now you're in F land. <laughs> so this would now be 4F. And now I start here. I have to go all the way to TB, which is over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's 4F9. All right. And once again, if you want to clean this up, if your teacher, you know, makes you clean it up, you know, three, three, four, three, four, put all the threes together, then all the fours together, then all the fives together. Then finally the sixes, here's another four, as you can see, they're all over the place. But if you guys have trouble doing that and you need to do that, just tell me in the comments and I'll put the answer up for you guys. All right. So let me know what you thought. Was this easy? Was this not easy? If you're still finding a little trouble, have no fear. There's tons more questions coming your way. If you didn't do the ones from before, go do those as well. There's tons of practice. I promise that you will get this in, this information down pat for your test or quiz or whatever it is. Or, ooh, that rhymed. For your test or quiz or whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, it helps the channel out and it helps get everybody who is taking the OpenStax textbooks to know that this... Uh, YouTube channel exists. And thank you for that. I will see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.